Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to the HBCU podcast with me, Hashim, and my co-host, Bobby. What's good? Good rising, good people. Bobby K here. Back at it for another episode. Um, you already know what the drill is, though. Before we get started with the topic, we got the HBCU fun fact. Uh, I had a song in my head while I was doing that, but, you know, try to jazz it up. Um, so for today's episode, the HBCU fun fact is on Spelman College, located in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a historically uh, female uh, school. Uh, they have the current, uh, their current graduation rate is at 76% which is the highest among all HBCUs and is almost double the current amount for, uh, I believe, regular um, schools when it comes to graduation rates for Black students. So, um, yeah, shout out to Spelman. That, uh, um, you said they're, they're what, majority fe- um, female woman? Yeah, it's like it's kind of like they're the antithesis to Morehouse. Okay. Whereas Morehouse is all male, they're all uh, female for the most part. Okay. So, shout out to Spelman. Yes, shout sir. out to ATL. If you know ATL, you know what I'm saying you get the reference. Atlanta, like the show. Yeah. No, the movie. Oh, no, nah, I didn't watch This it. man said the show. Bro, that's that's the first thing. No, the show is but... fire, too. I'm just saying, you got to <laughs> be talking about the movie first. You know what I'm saying? Classic. I, I feel you, but whenever somebody says ATL, I'm like Atlanta, and that's the movie. Yeah. All right, um, I'll see. We'll just hop right into it. So, I like yes. the shirt, by the way. Appreciate um, it. Shout out to D-Wade. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite players growing up. Yeah. So today's topic is about mixed signals and flirting. So Bobby's going to start this off. You know, he's a master of, you know. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Uh, We're not setting this tone, first of all. Let's not do this, please. I just just, didn't even get to ask the question. Okay, because you already already starting with the bullshit. All right, let's not do this. Okay. I'm just saying facts. But all right. Uh, So, Bobby. Mr. Yes. Expert, have what's your <laughs> thoughts on like mixed signals? Like, have you ever been in a situation where you was giving someone mixed signals, or and somebody? Do you believe somebody has given you mixed signals? What's your thoughts? I've gotten mixed signals plenty of times, and i would probably given mixed signals as well. Um, first of all, I'm not an expert. Let's put that out there. Just into the atmosphere. I am not an expert at this. Uh, Hashim definitely is more so. But regardless, um, yeah, I think mixed signals is something that it, I'm conflicted on how I feel about it because I think it's something that everyone inevitably does, even if it's not always conscious because, you know, people's feelings are very can be wishy-washy you know so you could have like a crush well we're, we're adults i don't want to see a crush but you can have stop crushes when you're adults i mean yeah it's, i mean whether you act upon it or not i, I feel i still think you have crushes as adults Okay. You might not want right. to call it that. You might be like, oh, I'm feeling this person. But that's, that's, that's it's the same thing. It has the same premise. I feel you. Yeah, but I'm saying when you have like a crush on someone, you may or may not know the right approach in terms of like how to give off the impression that you, you know, want to talk to this person or want to be with this person. So where, example, like, I've gotten mixed signals from girls previously in a sense of like thinking that, oh, well, you know, they have feelings for me. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, presented themselves in a way to where I believe like we were talking or we were going to be talking and 
things were cool, whatever. And then all of a sudden, you know, shit just kind of went left and nothing really materialized from the situation. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like they backed away or I mean, that- maybe I, or it could also be a case of like misreading a situation too. I think that happens often. That's not you necessarily know? like big signals. Maybe at that time they were feeling you and then either like you done something wrong that they didn't like or they like most most of the time people are talking to multiple people. So of they, course. they um have higher interest with somebody else, so they put more of their time there and they back off on you. You feel me? So, so what's not but, like, I don't know, know about like they nah, really, I don't know about that because like okay, so when do you know like what what do you consider a mixed signal? What what is what is what is Hashim the dreams definition of a mixed signal? Because um, we might have two different definitions. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm I'm a previous. I'm a pretty oblivious guy. I thought uh, you said uh, promiscuous for a second. I'm not no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said promiscuous. Nah. I was like, oh, oh you're wilding. Nah, Fuck nah, <laughs> You're not wrong. I, you are, but no. I'll be there. You putting it out there like that? <laughs> it's like, Sheesh. Sheesh. It's like the, Steve, the Stephen A. Smith. Uh, he's like, you're not wrong, but nah. That's what <laughs> you I, didn't have to say I was, I was, Let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, <laughs> but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good law. I was combining um, pretty and um, oblivious together, so it turned out to be hey, ladies. that. Nah. Ladies. Um, yeah, I said I'm pretty, pretty about it again. <laughs> I thought this was a mystery. Hashim is different, man. I'm a, I'm a pretty... Uh, He's sending guy. y'all mixed signals over the so, fucking mi- video. Mixed mix, mix signals is, I feel like, when they're like, give, when they're like, they're asking for more, right? So like, say you're spending time with them and they're asking for more or leading you on and then... Mm. When you do put in that extra energy, they're like, nah, chill. That's not what I'm really, like, looking for. I think that's what my definition of mixed singles is. But once again, I'm pretty oblivious, so, yeah. I don't think I'm I would, mixed singles, so. When you say oblivious, you mean you don't know if you're giving off mixed signals or you don't know when mixed signals is being done to you? What, what do you mean by oblivious? I don't know when people are flirting with me. Well, mm-hmm. that's a whole different... We're, we're going to get to that in a second. I'm trying to stick to, like, make signals. So, like, have you ever... Yeah, it's okay. Have you ever been in a situation where um, mixed signals has been done to you? Like, hindsight 2020, you look... You are talking to somebody, and then you look back on the situation, and you're like, damn, like, this person was low-key playing with my fucking emotions. Has, has that Probably. ever happened to you? Yeah, I think I, I, I like I said I don't know, um, but it could be like they they just not like they they like you, but mm-hmm. they're just not like they don't want to do anything further, or they're talking to somebody else. That's like you can still like somebody, like like other people, and you're talking to somebody else, so you know you're putting extra effort into the other person. I don't know because mm-hmm. you're not in a relationship, so anything's free game pretty much. Yeah, that's that kind of goes into the talking stages. I think mixed signals happen often in the talking stage. I mean, it could happen uh, in relationships. I got, I got a question. Um, oh God. <laughs> so, oh, boy. Uh, so what's the difference between talking, mm-hmm. or is there a difference between talking and dating? Great question. I would Sorry, say. I, so I've this, been told. I've been told from a previous. Uh, person of interest that uh, the difference is dating is more so like exclusivity to where mm-hmm. like you're only talking it's just you and that person you guys aren't official yet but you oh, guys yeah. are the only ones talking to each other and it's kind of known like okay we've been talking for maybe like a month or so we're not like officially like boyfriend and girlfriend but you know what it is like there's boundaries that's kind of set whereas talking is like i'm still trying to get to know you i don't know how i feel about you we probably went on maybe a date or whatever but like it's kind of 
you know, unwritten or untold that we're both talking to multiple people. Yeah. So what's your definition though? You said that's what you've been told, but what's yours? Cause I got a definition, but I feel like people don't agree with me. I've been told. Well, what, what, what is your definition? Like I say, dating is you're in a relationship. So you go out on, on dates, right? Mm-hmm. You go on multiple dates and talking is like the leading up to you being in a relationship. That's what I always thought. But the more I th- think about it, the more I agree with what I said previously, what the um what that person told me from before. Because but- da- dating, I, when I say, if you say you're in a relationship, you don't say that you're dating someone. Yes, you yes, just, you do. You, you, yes, you I, do. Yeah, that's exactly what you say. <laughs> I think I, I feel. Like, I mean, I feel like you more so say like. That's what I thought previously, but I feel, think about it. I feel like you more so say like, "Oh, I'm cuffed," or "I'm in a relationship," or something that's, like that. That's different words for dating. I like, well, in my percep, um, perception, but dating, I, but dating is is an active premise. Is is you're actively talking to an individual, but you're I not think. necessarily together yet. It's like a prerequisite to being in a relationship. Oh. I'm not you gotta think about it. I, I have thought about it because I've had this discussion many times that people always disagree. I can see their perspective on it. Um, mm-hmm. but I, I'm I'm gonna go back to the, the mixed signals yes. and save that for a different day. Yes. Sorry, we veered off I, a little I'm bit. I'm just curious. It's all good. Uh, he didn't want to talk about his he, him giving off mixed signals to all these women. I, he got, I right? don't, I don't think I do. I think I'm pretty like if they think it's yeah, if they it's it all depends on how that other person perceives it. So mm-hmm. I could be like, oh, I'm just being friendly, but they could think, oh, this dude's like feeling me, blah blah blah. But that's not how it really is. You feel me? Does bit I think I think mixed signals also can reflect on personalities because yeah. some people, like you said, uh like we're both kind of naturally friendly you know, conversational, you know, the way we approach it, it makes sometimes it could come off. I, well, actually for me, I think I know how to divide the two. Like I know how to be friendly and like approachable, but also not be flirting. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, when you're flirting with someone, you know, when you're giving off the impression of like, yo, I'm feeling you or, <laughs> I'm sexually nah, attracted to you, or whatever the case really, may be. You just really connect with somebody, though. It doesn't necessarily necessarily have to be flirting, but like if you connect with somebody, you could joke with them, and other people on the outside might think it's flirting, but that's just the premises of your relationship, which is like friendship. It could be. I'm just giving you. No, that's true. Friends. That's true. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a, a situation where I think Big Signals was involved. So there was a person that in college who. I, you know, was cool with in terms of like, you know, having a crush on her from, you know, during freshman year, Um, you know, she wasn't in my hall, but like I would see her kind of regularly, you know, on campus and things of that nature. So we've had like, like through the years, we had like multiple, you know, situations where we were you know physically involved or whatever the case may be that's an entanglement Uh, huh that's an entanglement (laughs) entanglement we didn't have we didn't have sex but yeah so you know i always got i always wanted to like have it be more than just like an entanglement quote unquote where I wanted to try to, you know, get to know her more and have it be more of a dating situation. And sometimes I would get the impression that she would want that because she always like she she talked a couple times about her previous uh, relationships and how they didn't work out. And she would always she would like I remember one time she praised me for like, you know, listening to her and always being so nice since we turned stuff. But then, like, the last time I saw her, which was, like, 
almost a couple years back, you know, we went out and on like an actual date for the first time. And like, I thought everything was cool, whatever. And then I ended up like getting a message from her after. And it was just like, yeah, you know, I don't think, I don't know if it's going to work or blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, you gave me the impression that you wanted to have like at least an attempt at, you know, dating situation or whatever the case may be and let it work towards a relationship. But then it just kind of like, you never like really tried or gave effort to it. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, what do you actually want from the person is where I think big signals becomes a problem because you, you're leading someone to believe that something's going to happen when it might not. And I'm guilty of it too. We all are like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's uh, why you have to, uh, Nah, you too. Yeah, you yeah. probably don't. Oh, you're probably not aware of it, but you too. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, but back to that, it could like you. You say you guys went on like a first date, so that's like like prior. It was like, oh, this is my friend chilling, and after that is it went into like a like more of a romantic type of scenery, right? Well, it was me and this person was always like very on and off. Like we didn't always talk consistently, but like once we would start like say oh like hey what's up whatever yeah. then we were like it would kind of like like we had natural chemistry with each other mm -hmm. but i wasn't ever sure if it was just like physical chemistry or chemistry of like us being around each other and like actually liking each other because it's you know it's a difference so yeah. well I, I, I was just gonna say maybe like back to what i said before she probably was talking to other people and of course she, yeah most you know, likely to go serious with the other person and maybe they had a better connection you'll never know unless they mm -hmm. actually tell you um mm -hmm. to, yeah I, don't, I still don't believe i get mixed signals so i feel like you, so you don't think there was a situation where you may have accidentally gave off the impression that you like the person or that you wanted to have sex or that you had some type of attraction towards them even though that wasn't your intention because it again it could be incidental no i feel like every time is it's just like yeah or no I don't, I don't think so okay so then let's transition then from mixed signals so what do you consider flirting mm. um <laughs> There's so much. There's so many like different ways, and it depends on the person's mm -hmm. uh, what is it? What they go? Love language? I think like physical it's touch. Five, blah, yeah, blah, blah. five love languages for the people who don't know. You know? Okay. I, I don't know say. all of them. No, no, I don't know all of them. I know like one physical touch. Okay. That's... So for the people who don't know, there's five love languages: is uh, words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time, acts of service, and gifts. Yeah, and so, the only reason I know that is because you're during the summer I had to do what? And I oh, uh, yeah, you said during the summer you had to do what? No, 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 no. What you said I was flirting. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Don't what don't I was saying before I was really yeah. interrupted by this uh, mad god over here is what I was saying was the only reason I know those languages is because I did a quiz from a few months back with a you know personal interest. But anyway. Uh, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, you asked me what the definition of a flirt is. I said there's so many different mm -hmm. types of ways. So it depends on the person. And so it could be like, oh, they're touching you a lot or they're like praising you. Um, depending on how long they know you, they give you gifts. Mm -hmm. um, I think mine would be, what, what's the five? I think probably physical touch. I mean, it would change depending it's, on it's two, it's two how and far you are. Okay, I'm, I'm saying it would change depending on how far you are in the relationship. So say you're actually in a relationship, and but that's not flirting. I, I say physical touch would be flirting, mostly. Or well, that's that's the overt kind of flirting. But what? Okay, but what type of physical touch? Because all physical touch, I don't think is flirting. Like it, uh, I think it has touching to be you for no reason. Like they're touching you for no reason. Like they can I mean, do it. Sometimes people are touching. Also, Yes, that also depends on the person. So if you know the person and 
they're naturally just like a touchy person all right cool mm-hmm. we can take that as that's just them being them but if it's mm-hmm. a person that isn't like that and they're touching you like that blah blah, blah you can take that as flirting um mm-hmm. another thing is eye contact or if they're like eye contact is a big you. flirt big flirt the eyes always tell um, you everything yeah, but it's also easy to misinterpret. Um, Is it? <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just remembered uh, what my what? friend told me. Uh, he said, if you're like, if, <laughs> if you talk. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If you talk, no. <laughs> you say you want to say it? Talk, you say, you talk to a, say you talk to a girl. It's, it's probably crazy. It's just funny that I just remembered it. Mm-hmm. Say you talk to a girl, right? And mm-hmm. like. If she's if her body is not pointing to your direction, it could work either way. If their body's not per, pointing to towards you, that means mm. they're not really interested. But the way he said it is like if if like their belt buttons pointing towards you, that means they're like interested in the conversation, interested in you. If I time if out, I'm right, time, right. time out, time yeah. out, time out. Run that yeah. back because I'm I'm right. confused, and I'm sure right, the so people who watch this is confused. Well, say, what? Say I'm talking to a girl, right? Okay. Say it's at like some party. And I'm talking to her, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, she's like looking off somewhere or she's not directly looking at me like this, right? Okay. Means that it could be a sign that she's not really interested. Or like when I say looking directly like this, I'm just, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's, it's like, yeah, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that's a, 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 a sign you could look for. Um, for flirting, like they're making eye contact, they're actually engaging the conversation. Their body language is supporting that they're actually interested um, mm. in, like you flirting with them. They're okay with it. They're more open to it. Some people I, don't like eye contact, even uh, because they feel like it's too revealing. So they might not want to give you eye contact because they do like you, but they don't want to be like staring at you or they don't want to come off like you know what i'm saying like but their body but their body language will show that they're interested but what body language what what specific body language are we talking about like are they jittery or their hand motion they don't know what to do with their hands bro I'm, i think i noticed that too like sometimes when you're like flirting with someone or trying to flirt with someone that you ha- like Sometimes you don't know what to do with your hands. Like, you don't know if you should put your hands in your pocket. Should you just ha- hold your hands? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. Like, I notice that type of stuff. I'm saying, like, I might do that myself. Okay. It's because yeah. you've been in a lot of experiences, uh, situations. I, I, you, to know that's that. what you said. So, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You said that. Yeah, but you have so much wisdom, I'm saying. How? Um, what do you mean? But I, I saw what, what you've been you in a more recent relationship than I have. Yeah, yeah by exactly. How much? That's a little, like months, maybe apart. No, no not um, even. That's not true. But what's what's your definition of flirting? I said like I, I said like physical touch and like eye contact. I think eye contact is a big thing. I think eyes, and not just with flirting, but just in everything, is very revealing. You can see a lot of someone's emotions or a lot of what they're thinking with their, the, you can't lie with your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like whether someone's looking away because, you know, they're disinterested or looking away because they are nervous around you. Um, they're looking up and down. They're looking at your lips. They're looking at your outfit. You know what I mean? The eyes are very revealing in that type of spectrum. Um, the body language, I think, like, like you said, physical touch. So, like, let's say you put like your hand on like so on the girl's thigh or something. Up skirt, get in the right. Left hand is steering, the other is gripping your thigh. Her reaction is going to be very telling of if she's interested in you or not. If she kind of brushes you off or something like that, then it kind of could be assumed that maybe you misread the situation. But if she starts kind of like, you know, exhaling, kind of rocking back and forth or, huh? Breathing? 
if she's breathing, breathing. <laughs> if she's breathing, guys, if she's breathing, it's a wrap, bro. You got it. <laughs> yeah, you got listen, you gotta take her listen, you gotta take her breath away. The fuck is you talking about? Nah, I'm playing. But uh, uh yo, no, enjoy it. You have the whole podcast to yourself for that. <laughs> Bro. Go ahead. Where, Listen, where man, I'm like, trying to give specific things to look for or to, to w- analyze if you're flirting with someone or if someone's flirting with you. Like, you know, can you get from like the guy's perspective? And oh, how do how can like, girls if, know if a, girl, we're flirting? If a girl's flirting with you? How do I know if a girl's flirting with me? If a girl's flirting with you, what would be the signs that? The guy is okay with it. Um, so if he's usually, I mean, guys, I think are more. We, I think we're more um, okay. overt. Yeah, we're more open to it. I think girls don't want to come off because um, you know the stigmas against like women with who are more like um, openly openly we yeah, have who's more forceful who's more openly sexual whatever there's like a stigma against it so they're gonna be try to be more delicate about like how they present themselves more whereas guys subtle. they're gonna what happened more subtle right they're gonna be more subtle guys don't really give a fuck so uh, it okay i i think it depends on the person that they're flirting with but go ahead Okay, so if a girl is flirting with you and you have interest in her, how would you present it back? How would you flirt back? Well, like I said, I'm oblivious, so <laughs> I wouldn't. You know can't be that oblivious to where yes, you don't know. Yes, if a girl yes, I can. With you. yes, I can. How? Yes, I can. How? Yes, I can. How? And you know, I will realize like a week later, I'm like, yeah, probably she was probably flirting with me, but you know. That it's, is that because you? Is that because sometimes yeah. you're over, you're nonchalant? Is that what it is too? To uh, where you you're not really no, suspecting I, I just, that? I just like I I uh, how should I put this? Uh, I think people need to be more forward. Oh, okay. I agree. I I think people need more be more forward, and you don't want there's times where you could say, "Oh, somebody's flirting with me," and they really weren't. And mm-hmm. that's because you you take everything as like oh they're flirting me oh they're not they're being nice to me oh they're flirting mm-hmm. with me so mm-hmm. I just automatically think everybody's not flirting with me which is a I think is a good solution until like somebody from that's seeing it from the outside be like yeah she definitely is now I'm like ah, I don't see it but if is that it, also because you don't want to assume that someone's flirting with you because you don't want to set yourself up for disappointment if they're not what are you a psychologist. I'm just saying we gotta analyze the situation. <laughs> yeah. We gotta analyze it. I'm s i am I can understand. No, yeah. I'm saying I, I can yeah, empathize. I, I can empathize yeah. with that approach because if you feel yeah. like, okay, I don't want to set myself up to think that this person who's attractive to me is flirting with me when they're not and they're just being friendly or you know, just being cordial. So let me just repress that possibility in my mind and you know in my spirit and let me just you know act as casual as possible and let it be revealed to me later on that this person has interest in me rather than assuming and making you know an ass out of yourself yeah i I would never make an ass out of myself really um but yeah because you you, you do this you know you that you bought this life so A bad reputation, man. It's I, ain't, bad I ain't about reputation, this life. I'm about chasing this bag. Yeah. Chasing the bag and chasing yeah. the ass. No. <laughs> uh yeah, but I, I think I think majorly we got like 10 minutes left. I uh, think majorly um body language I think is key to flirting or mm-hmm. mixed signals can happen there as well. Uh, can we tell the people how we might flirt, or is that too? You could tell the people how you. Flirt. I'm saying though, we we, we have I, to be transparent. I don't know. I tell jokes. I I just be I, more. I think yes. Outgoing, maybe. I, I honestly don't know. I'm oblivious to myself too. 
What? I think I think I think I nah, I say I think I, I, I make more jokes, I'm more outgoing. Um more lively, I guess. Depends hmm. on the the scene that we're in, like the environment that we're in. I might give them more attention. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so if you're like in a group, you in if you're have interest in someone, you're flirting, you're more likely to like kind of seclude off to just where it's just, you're just talking to that person and not to everyone else. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty. That's a pretty good yeah. obvious tone. I think sense of humor is a great way to flirt for both sides of the spectrum if you guys are just bouncing jokes off each other and very playfully um you know that's a great way to kind of break the ice because i think with humor it kind of puts someone's guard off because now they feel more comfortable around you uh that you're making them laugh and you bring bringing joy to them so they they're more open to the they could be more open to the idea of you know having interest in you, getting the number, you know, whatever that can lead to. That's facts. You could be, you could be like super ugly. I'm not calling anybody ugly. <laughs> but as, as long as you're funny, that's you're 10 crazy. out of 10. That's I think, no, crazy. I think, no, sorry, 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 sorry. I think it's... <laughs> Unattractive, it's not ugly. Unattractive. No, I'm, I'm sticking with the word ugly. It's, it's, <laughs> no, it's we're not. It's just a synonym for unattractive. Ugly. I can't um, say the word ugly. Hideous, happy. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it's different for guys and girls. Uh, I think girls could like talk to or date a guy that's uglier or in in other people's eyes are uglier, right? Mm -hmm. Or unattractive, but they're funny, so that 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 boosts them up. They they get points for that, right? But okay. guys, I don't think. Have the same luxury. If, if, if a, yeah, if a girl is unattractive to mm -hmm. them and funny, I I don't think it would work the same as for the woman. You feel me? I mean, I feel. I mean, I get what you're trying to say, but I don't think that can always apply because I think that, um, I think it's more rare to find girls who are like funny compared to guys. Um, oh, I, I, I would never say that. I'm talking to the audience. I would never say that. I'm I not trying to come off. Could be I'm not trying to come off misogynistic. I'm guys. not trying to come I, off. I, I'm just saying that. But go listen, ahead. Listen, you, listen, listen. I, I, I'm not trying to come off misogynistic. I'm not. Uh, I know that might some come off controversial. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I've I've been around more guys who are, are funny and are good at jokes than girls especially when it comes to flirt stop nodding your head like that <laughs> you, you're trying I'm to give me a trouble I, I, i'm understanding what you're saying i know but you, you try to distance yourself from what i said keep going, <laughs> keep going girls bro. are they don't tip from from what i've seen from my experience not just with me but just from seeing girls flirt with other guys they don't usually typically use humor as a realm to try to reel someone in that they have interest they, in. They don't have um, to, because they look good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, like, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's what dudes... guys, no, look, look, guys look for different things than what girls look for in uh, like a partner. So initially, so? yes. Guys yeah, think could, about it. <laughs> no, yes, a, 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 a girl, this is how I, this is just my opinion, but I, I think a girl would like a dude that's funny, right? So keep him entertained. You could look good, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're funny, that's that's really good, right? Okay. Um, guys, if she's funny, she's funny. But if she doesn't look good, it's like they, they don't, wouldn't be as interested. I think so guys essentially interested we're interested better. Go ahead. I think guys are more interested in looks off mm. rip than girls are. Thanks. Yeah. Because girl, girls can like a dude because he's 6'5". <laughs> That's true. That's very true. That's I very think guys, true. guys don't measure, don't go as hard for a height, but they do for other aspects as well. So it's, it's all like a spectrum of things.
I think guys differentiate different things more so than girls might put everything in a melting pot. So they might look at the humor. They might look at their physical attributes. They might look at, you know, maybe financial status and, and put that in a melting pot and the guy becomes more attractive to them. Um, I don't got, think guys are as um, fluid with that as girls are. Um, but I mean, I mean, flirting, like I said, I think flirting with guys is more, is more obvious. I don't think guys are subtle. Yeah. I don't think guys are very subtle with flirting because we're naturally used to chasing and I don't want to say chasing, but pursuing women of interest. So good. I've been told that people don't know if I'm flirting or not. Just but you like, do know, but you, but you do know though. Is that a good thing that they don't know? Because isn't the purpose know. of flirt like, isn't the purpose of flirting to make the person know that you have interest in them? Yeah, but like people like the game, like the chase, the mystery. So it also depends on the person. Mm. Like oh, like there's there's times where I've seen. Well, this is Twitter talk, but um, people say. Girls especially say, oh, once they're interested, like, I I like them until he said he was interested in me, and then I was like, I'm I'm not attracted to him anymore. That's so stupid. Yeah. That's really but, dumb. That's dumb. That's so dumb. That's, that's what I've uh, read. Mm-hmm. That's just, that's just a person um, either playing games or a person that, like, they like the idea of possibly rejecting someone, I guess. And then, but then them knowing that they have interest in them, they immediately just fall off from the idea of being with that person, which is, I, I, I don't understand that. But to wrap yeah. up, to wrap it up, um, I think that I have given mixed signals unintentionally as anyone else has done. And I've definitely had mixed signals given to me. And I do think flirting, um, I think it needs to be more obvious and not as subtle. And, but it can be subtle in a, you know, depending on the situation or the setting. But, you know, shout out to flirting. Hashim, wrap up thoughts. I think people need to be direct and say, <laughs> I like you. I, I like you. you. <laughs> I got to have you. Can do it the easy <laughs> way, this easy way, way or the hard way? Not in the rapey No, that, that is not what we're talking about. Let's put boondocks. We're talking about boondocks. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're not condoning that. that. Y'all should all know that. Right. Um, but yeah, I think people should be more direct. That would lead to less make signals. Uh, make your life easier and so do- that you don't waste your time. But uh, we're wrapping up. So follow the Instagram page, the HBCU podcast. Yes. Uh, that's also the title of the YouTube page as well. Um, like, like, subscribe. Share. Oh, good. Go ahead, go ahead. Like, comment, subscribe.